What's going on awesome fish lovers? Welcome to Sax Tanks, Crazy Aquarium Guy. Today's video is a good one. We have pretty much an update of five of my aquariums. We got new fish. We're gonna talk about plants. It's gonna be great, so please stay tuned. And the notification bell thing has killed my channel and views lately, so please help yourself to clicking the bell if you still like my videos and I really appreciate you stopping by because it's a lot of channels out there right now and you choosing to watch my channel is pretty awesome so thanks a lot guys uh, let's go so this is my 70 gallon I used to keep trophies in here but I ca it came to the point I have 14 aquariums <laughs> in my apartment and I got a really rare opportunity to keep a certain fish that I want to keep more than I want to keep the trophies. So I'm going to tear this tank down and get some new fish for this tank. And this is just going to be me taking out stone for hours at least two hours so that's not going to be a lot of fun to watch but I wanted to show you the tag before I did it and yeah Cryptocorine hasn't grown a lot because I kept the tag too clean I had the Eheim Professional 4 and the biggest kind canister and the Fluval 406 and the Fluval CP4 we will see the streamer, their biggest streamer. So the nitrates has pretty much been zero. And the trophies eat green stuff. So they don't contaminate the water as much as other fish as well. So the cryptocorine hasn't grown and yeah, so let's do let's do something new with this tank instead, I thought. Yeah. This is all the stones. And that beach towel is huge, by the way. Doesn't look like a big pile of stones because that fishnet is actually big enough to fit the fahaka in it. So, But a lot of stones. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but something in the future maybe. I love carbon stones, so... I'm sure I can use them for something. And here I wanted to show you just quick that underneath the pile of stones that was super clean. One intake from the 406 in the end there was enough. Some people asked why when you have, when I bought that when I bought all the stones and made a big pile that they had theories that it wasn't going to stay clean. And this is just a quick look at my 75 gallon cube because I'm about to move some community fish into there. So working late night here guys. Love to work at night. Feels like all the good ideas are still out there. And yeah, this is quick, how quickly I changed my mind. I'm gonna put, put the Rose Tetra in with the uh, can stripe plecos in the hallway but first things first I'm gonna take everything out of here to easily catch all the fish because I put everything out since it's only hardscape and it's pretty easy it's like four pieces of driftwood and a couple of caves and then it's gonna be super easy to catch the fish and of course drain the water 90% as well because I'm getting a new fish guys but that is probably in the thumbnail so but I'm I want space for that fish this is the hundred gallon tank but still I'm gonna take all the, the other fish out because he's big enough to eat the sword tails and if not maybe the sword tails can be assholes sometimes so <laughs> I don't want to keep them in with the, the new fish so I'm gonna take everything out and do an, something new and this is one of my favorite plecos, the Brissendals plecos, but this is the favor, my favorite color of them. The blue ones 
the, the yellow ones, sorry, with blue eyes. And this is a female. They've been living with the trophies and getting picked at. And they didn't have a cave in there. But in my guppy tank, I am sure they will breed as soon as I put them in. I have four of them. One male and three females. Two of each would have been better, but still. And here's another female. Cute little bastards. Really like the yellow ones with blue eyes. That's my favorite. So you should always keep and breed your favorite fish. Otherwise it's not going to be worth it in the end. So and they are pretty expensive where I live. So they're going to make me a, quite a bit of money as well. Yeah, the new scape. I did it like a sculpture thing instead in the middle so the fish can swim around and round. I'm not sure I'm going to keep that long term, but I think I will. But I'm not sure because all the turtles are hiding behind it now. They hang around like monkeys in a tree. So I guess that's fun for them, but they hang around on the other side so I can't see them. All of them except... Raphael or Donatella that's always looking for food. <laughs> I think this will be the future scape. I maybe take out even more griffle pieces so the bottom is clear. But otherwise I like it. I like it more simple. The filters are also gonna be able to keep the tank a lot more clean when nothing is right in the substrate on the bottom flat lying because it's gathering poop from the turtles and the fish and the streamer and the fx6 can't take it out because the tank is like two and a half feet tall but here is the unboxing of the goldfish I went on my awesome scooter to go and get it. I also got the bonus bag. I'm going to show you that one later. But my apartment is staying so super hot. So I have like 81, 82 degrees in here sometimes. So I don't have to float acclimate the temperature. It's enough to leave them in the apartment. Especially in the living room. Or should I call all my rooms fish room now? Look at that beautiful goldfish. He's huge. Super healthy, super colorful. I'm really happy to get him. And this is just a small surprise, guys. The next video is that big surprise I was talking about in the last video. But still, look at this beautiful goldfish. I don't know how big he is, but he's really big. At least 12 inches. And they can get even b bigger, actually. I'm just putting a, something dark, a dark sweater over him, so I don't stress him too much. As you can see, there wasn't much space left in the bag. But we're going to take a look at the plants now. Look how beautiful plants. How much beautiful plants I got from my brother. This is the Cryptocorine Aponogetifolia. And it's amazing and the quality as you can see my brother knows how to keep his fish and plants as well so here I'm talking about that it should be in this aquarium because it's my tallest aquarium but I don't know about that I'm not sure I, I like that because they're gonna grow grow and grow and eventually be too much in there because I want all the space for the Fahaka so we'll see and the lighting isn't super good on the Fahaka tank I mean it's good but it's not super good because the tank is so deep but we'll see and this plant the only boring thing about this plant is that it can melt back and then you just have to wait take up all the mush that it creates with the dead, dead leaves and then wait but it sucks hopefully it doesn't sometimes it, do, it doesn't but 
I don't know if I can do it because he had four T5s, 45 watt, on top of his Aponogeti Folia. This Pahaka tank has a lot less. Maybe I think of something else, we'll see. But I really love that plant. One of my favorite crypto Korean plants for sure. Very nice. And to get it for free, this amount. I mean, thanks bro. Literally. If you're watching. Thanks again. Of course I thanked him. <laughs> back then as well. So we're going to put in the goldfish now. See how he looks in the hundred gallon. Bam 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 bam. And splash. Beautiful fish. So healthy, so big. I love normal goldfish as well, but they get huge. But one is absolutely fine with the turtles in a hundred gallon. Look at that fully grown musk turtle against that comet goldfish. So this is my white finned rose tetra or white finned rosy tetra. Much underrated tetra in my opinion. Looks very good, especially in real life. It's hard to get it on camera. But I really like them. They are, they are very tight schoolers and they like to stay in the middle and the bottom part of the tank. And also, as you can see, a couple of guppy fries that has grown up in the tank that I didn't catch when I moved the other 50. But these uh, white fin rose tetras, I really like them. They're called white fin because they bred them. They usually have a black thing on their dorsal fin as well but they have been bred to have more white and uh, just red and white instead of black red and white so that's why they call them white finned I don't know they are a little bit more expensive but they look a little bit more they look a little bit better in my opinion so just putting in a block of white mosquito larva and if you can get white mosquito larva, I highly suggest that you try it. It's a lot better for your fish than bloodworms. I'm not saying don't feed bloodworms ever or anything like that, but in my experience, I have never had any problems feeding huge amounts of white mosquito larva. And we all know we can't feed huge amounts of bloodworms on a regular basis. And I like that white mosquito larva stays in the water column a lot more. But as you can see, this is a schooling fish. And they are staying close to each other. Even though it's their favorite food. They can stay in that school and attack one at a time or two at a time. And then go straight back to the school. So they are a bit timid. and But they are not afraid when you walk uh, past the tank or anything. So they're not darting right into the glass. They're not scared. They just like to keep to themselves. Like to try it a little bit. And when fish act like that, it usually is a sign that they want a bigger school. I have like 23 in here. They would probably do a lot better if there were 50 of them. But they are pretty expensive, so I can't buy 50 right now. But I really like them. They look cool. Next things up. my 8 gallon cube that I keep in the kitchen with an aqua clear 50 and a lot of guppy grass as you can see and a few ramsong snails and of course my shrimp but I can't see my shrimp anymore because that huge piece of guppy grass is covering the whole tank now as guppy grass do if you give it good lighting or I would say decent lighting 
but this was good lighting two 6 watts LEDs so 12 <laughs> watts of high quality LED on 8 gallons that is pretty crazy actually uh, I should take one out <laughs> but I like how fast the plants are growing in that tank and I want the plants to grow fast because this uh, cube, this 8 gallon cube is uh, almost no maintenance I change 50% once every 4 weeks maybe once every 6 weeks sometimes and this floating plant is a new floating plant that I haven't kept before so I can't remember her name right now not duckweed of course but the red one and they stay small like that you compare it to the duckweed and you can see it's really small it's really small and a bit red in color and I really like it that's how how I got the mm, ram's horns I bought the floating plants on the Swedish version of eBay so just a quick update on this tank I'm not sure I may take this tank down that's what I wanted to show you guys before I do that or if I move the do a rescape I can show you how it looked before and it was a long time ago I showed you the tank it's close to the window so I'm having algae problems but not anymore now I have the guppy grass instead but we're gonna take a look at the goldfish one more time because now it's been in his aquarium for a couple of days take a look at that beast look at the colors I mean this is what you get when you feed your goldfish high quality food this was picked amongst hundreds of goldfish that looked completely ordinary but my brother feeds his goldfish the same foods as I do rapashi super green with red rum in it or rapashi soylent green or rapashi dandoranda I don't think he's has tried that one but he also uses New Life Spectrum Ultra Red on goldfish but if you don't want to do that like I said in the last video buy sinking Hikari Cichlid Excel it's good as well but New Life Spectrum is my favorite that's all for today guys but make sure you watch the next video because I'm gonna reveal a new scape and a bunch of new fish for my 70, 75, no 70 gallon. So have a good day and like I said click the notification bell if you still like my videos because yeah I hate YouTube right now. <laughs> they killed my views. So bye bye fish lovers.